Hi, I'm Allie Rhodes. I'm the Director of Parks and Recreation for the City of Boulder. Thank you so much for joining us for this virtual open house, where you'll get a chance to tell us what you think is most important next for Boulder Parks and Recreation. We're in the process of updating our master plan, which is city speak for a strategic plan, and we need to hear from you, our Boulder community, how you think we should prioritize the various services we provide across our parks, facilities, and programs. Your input now will help inform the decisions we make over the next five to seven years. So thank you so much for joining us. In this short video series, we're gonna provide some information about what is a master plan, what have we learned so far in the process, and the decisions we need your input on to help us finalize our master plan. Thank you so much for joining us. So what is a master plan? Our master plan is a strategic plan and the process to develop it and the plan itself help us work with the community to answer three key questions. What is our role? Who do we serve? And how do we do it? In a community where health and well-being is such a priority, having a plan helps us make consistent and transparent decisions about our day-to-day -day operations, about the investments that we make in parks and facilities, and we know from the community that providing equitable access is very important, as is making sure we're good stewards of our financial resources and also making sure that we're aware of and supporting the city as it addresses our climate emergency. Developing a master plan that will ensure we care for Boulder's incredible parks and recreation system and is reflective of our community's strong commitment to health and well being requires a blended approach. The final policies, goals, and initiatives of this master plan will be built upon research, input from the community, and guidance from our elected officials on city council and appointed representatives on the Parks and Recreation Advisory Board. All of the final master plan recommendations will be viewed with an equity lens, making sure that all decisions and priorities consider who benefits and who is impacted by those choices. They will also consider resilience and our community's commitment to addressing the climate emergency. The recommendations will be built upon the three tiers of our parks and recreation system, our parkland, our recreation facilities, and our programs. Developing a community-wide master plan is a process that takes about a year under the best circumstances. Amidst the pandemic and many challenges facing our community, the process has taken even longer, but we're now in the home stretch. We started in 2020 and with the research phase, Last year, last fall, we finalized the needs assessment. We had a list of issues, concerns, and priorities from the community. You can see this helix in the middle of the slide here demonstrates that throughout the process, we've blended technical content with input from the community. Right now, we're developing the implementation plan and your input will help inform the next and final phase of the process where we share a final plan with the community, the Parks and Recreation Advisory Board, and our city council for their approval. The Parks and Recreation Master Plan is organized around six key themes. These key themes were identified in the 2014 master planning process. And as we began this project, our elected officials, our appointed members of the Parks and Recreation Advisory Board and the community confirmed that this is still the best way to organize the work of Parks and Recreation. The first theme is community health and wellness. And this is all about how we keep Boulder emotionally and physically healthy through our parks, facilities, and program. The next theme is taking care of what we have. And this is all about how we prioritize investments in our parks and facilities through our asset management program. The next theme is financial sustainability. And the strategies here help us balance the many demands on our existing resources, help us focus on core services and the priorities of our community. Building community and relationships, this key theme guides the work we do to build a connected community and support social and cultural equity. Our volunteer program is a great example of this work. Youth engagement and activity reflects the value the community has told us time and time again that we should place on our younger community members. This informs the work we do to engage youth with services that connect them with nature, experiential learning, and providing opportunities to close Boulder's achievement gap. Finally, 
and likely most importantly is our work around organizational readiness. Our talented workforce, making sure that we take care of them and develop them and provide strong systems to maintain our system will enable us to operate a modern parks and recreation department.